Welcome to the new video on learning PySpark with cloud computing by implied concepts. In this video we will discuss about Spark session and lay the groundwork for upcoming videos on RDD operations. We saw before, that Spark context is the single point of entry for all Spark functionality. Driver connects to clusters via resource manager via Spark context. From data perspective, Spark Context provides APIs to access unstructured, schema-less data-like text files. To work with RDD operations, it is essential to work with well-structured, schematic tabular data as well. SQL Context provides the APIs to access such data. Of course, SQL Context has many SQL-related operations as well, but we are interested in data frames to progress to subsequent course materials. Spark also provides streaming APIs to work with real-time streaming data via streaming context. This is out of the scope of this course. We have a separate course for Spark streaming. There are other context classes like Hive and Task as well supported by Spark. From Spark 2 onwards, we have a new single entry point called Spark Session to interact with all underlying Spark functionality, and allows programming Spark with data frames directly. All the functionalities available with Spark Context are also available in Spark Session. And on top we get access to SQL, Hive and Spark Streaming Context. Essentially, Spark Session is now a parent class, and all other API classes are derived classes. If you do not want to use Spark Session and use individual classes, you are free to do that. But it is highly recommended that you use Spark Session as the single entry point. From now on, unless otherwise specified, we will use Spark Session in all subsequent examples. We will discuss about data frames in the next video before taking up RDD operations in detail.